I'm here with Patty McGuire Armstrong to talk about her newest book, Holy Hacks, and you're familiar with her from other appearances on Catholic TV, but we're going to talk about hacking today. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thanks, Bonnie. Glad to be here. So, Holy Hacks. So, right. there's, there's a good side to hacking. Yes, there is. And, you know, the idea came from life hacks, and people like life hacks because yeah. they're they're easy, clever, unique ways to do things, to get things done uh, better. And the idea came to me, I had written a few articles on it, and the idea of holy hacks came to me. And I thought, well, I couldn't have thought that up. Somebody else must be doing <laughs> something on holy hacks, but I couldn't find anything written anywhere. You know, I did an internet search. And holy hacks are, just like life hacks, are creative and easy ways to, to make life better. Holy hacks include eternal life. And so they're easy ways to practice the faith, to go to the next level in ways that um, anybody can do. From, from children to senior citizens to really, it, it's really about increasing your capacity. That's great. And so that your life, a lot of people are, are afraid to get too holy or you know work too hard. Yeah. I'm not gonna wear a hair shirt. And I don't tell people to wear hair shirts. I don't tell them not to wear them, but yeah. I, you know, it's like that, you, these are uh, probably close to 300 ideas, but every chapter I, co I cover different topics like prayer, uh, spiritual protection, evangelizing, humility. I cover different topics. I went to a lot of experts from the saints to people like marriage um, counselors to help on relationships. So I, I talk about the topic, but then I include all these holy hacks that are quick, easy, um, and they, they are not, they're life changing, but they don't change what you're doing with your life. Right. Yeah. But yeah. they're life changing. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, when you're at a kid's soccer game or whatever, you know, athletics, your family's involved in somebody's saying, oh, well, you know, I wouldn't have time to pray rosary. And I said, well, you know what, you know, at that game, you have a minute to toss up a hail Mary, right. you know? So they said, well, I don't want to look like, um, you know, a religious freak or something. Well, you know what? That doesn't make you a religious freak. It makes you somebody who's devout, you know? Right. So is that what holy hacks are about? All of it. I'll give you some examples. Sure. Here, you know, that's, so we can really get an understanding of what I'm talking about. Like one of my favorite holy hacks is um, saying a prayer for somebody when I use a gift they gave me. Somebody oh. gave me a plant years ago. Every time I water it, I say a Hail Mary. That's great. I know, like you're going to water the plant anyway, right? Right. And so you pray for the person that gave you that gift. It just takes, what does it take? 20 seconds, so 30 tops, seconds? Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe, yeah. maybe I don't know. It depends on how quickly you, you pray, but, but it just takes a moment. Or if you're in a car and somebody cuts you off, what does everybody do? They get angry yeah. to one degree or another. Yeah. yeah. What if you prayed for that person? And it doesn't, it goes against our grain. We don't feel like praying for somebody who just almost hit our car and maybe right. they even did. But when you think about it, if you pray for somebody that just got you angry, whether it's in traffic or somewhere else, Jesus made a promise. He said, the measure with which you measure will be measured back to you. So if you pray for that person, you're going to help them and help yourself too. Because he said, whatever you give to that person comes back to you. That person just did you a favor. Right. And when you think about it that way, it's like, yeah. Um, That's a great way to look at it. I sometimes think of other gestures when somebody cuts me off, right? But this is yes. perfect. And a prayer takes as much time as probably less time right. than all those other right. thoughts, gestures, whatever. Yeah. And and you're going to feel better at the end of a prayer than you are at the end of, you know, yelling something at that person. Absolutely. Everybody, it's like a win, win, win all the way around that, and it, you know, when you read the lives of the saints, they were always attracted to people that were difficult. Like Saint um, Therese of yes, Lisieux was yes. a big example because there was a nun that was very difficult that everybody stayed away and she would always go to help her. And the sister said, what is it you like so much about me? Well, she just understood how many graces were available to her. And so it's the same with us. If somebody does somebody difficult in our life, yeah. say a prayer for them yeah. and we've just blessed ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And some of those, you know, Catholic kind of gestures, like when people always made a sign of the cross going by a church or a funeral home, like you don't see it as frequently now, but now I make it more of a point to do that, not just to, but to remind me of, we acknowledge the real presence. And quite frankly, it's such a simple thing to do, but so, so powerful. Simple. Yes, it's simple. It's an example. 
You know, um, a, a lot of times we hear more and more, like Catholic TV, you might mention it different ways, saying grace in public. Yes. Oh, yes. So I, I mentioned it, you know, saying grace, and somebody goes, oh, yeah, I do that all the time. And I said, at the vending machines? And he said, oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> but it's a good one. Why not? Yes. Yeah. You know, anytime you're going to eat something, just say a little blessing, For, yeah. you know, yeah. why wouldn't you? Like, yeah. why, like... It's, it just like expands, like I said, yes. it expands your capacity to live your faith. And it starts to become fun and easy, you know, doing kind things for people and just, you know, and, and humility. I bring in a lot of Mother Teresa's ideas yes. and seeking the last place in life. That's hard to do, isn't it? Or what about giving up a parking place that's right in front of the door and you decide, I'm going to park somewhere else, but I'm going to pray for whoever parks there. Yeah. It's like you're doing all these little random spiritual good acts, yeah. but you're growing in holiness yourself in the, in the, at the same time. Yeah, those are really beautiful. And I, I do want to let folks know, so you're in Bismarck, where people watch us on channel 613 and 1613 in high depth. And uh, so we're looking forward to being in your great diocese for the Thurs oh, yeah. Conference. But uh, definitely, before people go, get out a holy hack because uh, it's really well attended, that event. I love it. Yes. Um, so thanks so much for being with us. These Thank are great you, ideas. Thanks. thanks so much. And now we're going to go back to the rest of This Is The Day.